All right, we got a lot on the board today, but you're actually probably going to get through this workout a little quicker than most. It's a little faster pace. So we're gonna start out with something to get the heart rate up a little bit. So we've got two rounds of squat jacks and inchworms. Then we're gonna roll right into three rounds of some 303 goblet squats. That's the really slow, three seconds down, three seconds up squat, like a slow motion squat. As many reps as you can, and then renegade rows, as many, many reps as you can. That's just a row from a plank position. And then we've got three rounds of Arnold press and lateral raises, as many reps as you can. Uh, this is gonna be more shoulder focused. And then at the very end, we've got a little more conditioning work, a little more core and stability work. Two to three rounds, but most of you will probably easily get the three rounds within 30 minutes. We're gonna do a plank with a step out. So that's a new one. Pigeon crunches, that's probably a new one for some of you as well. So you'll need at least one dumbbell, two preferably, and then for the shoulder work, if you've got some lighter dumbbells or I've got a thing of unopened salt, I've got two of those that you can use. You can use canned beans, canned veggies. Grab something to weight those up. Get creative. So for the warm up, we're gonna start with our Egyptians. Rotating those palms each way, opposite directions, as far as they'll go. Give me 10 each direction on each side. After you've got that, what we'll do is reverse flies with no weight. I'm just thinking about making my shoulder blades touch in the middle, in the middle of my back. Let's get 15 of those, and then we're gonna go ahead and drop it down. I'll show you from the side, high plank position, and then we're just gonna push up into a down dog position. And then pump the legs back and forth. So we're getting a big pull through the back of the legs. Just give me pumps for about 30 seconds off and on. And then we're gonna take it into a runner stretch. So I'm bringing one foot up to my hands, sinking those hips down. And then from this position, we're gonna add a chest opener. So we're gonna reach under and I'm following my hands to the ceiling. Now these may be a little unsteady at first. But take your time, keep working, go as high as you can and follow with your eyes. Give me 10 on each side. That's a runner stretch with a chest opener. All right, from there, we're gonna go straight into our dynamic warm up slash conditioning work. So we're gonna start feet together, step out, Tap in the middle, back together. Just going back and forth like a jumping jack, but we're squatting in the middle and tapping the ground. 30 seconds, as many as you got. And then directly after that, we're going into, uh, I already forgot, inchworms. So we're walking it out to a high plank, back into our feet. You don't have to stand up in the middle. Just walk it right back out for 30 seconds. We're going in and out. If that's an issue, you can either do a shoulder tap from the couch, or you can do a shoulder tap from the ground to modify the inchworms. And on the step outs, if you wanna do just like a little side squat, slow it down. It's another way we can modify those. All right, we're going straight into the squats. So the 303 is three seconds down, slow, 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 three seconds up. Count it out, be disciplined. Don't speed through it. The whole point is to keep as much tension on the legs as possible and load them up because we don't have a ton of weight, so we're gonna add some tension. You can also do those to the couch. Take some pressure off the knees if you're feeling it in the knees, but still try to slow it down as much as possible. After that, renegade rows. So the fullest expression will be a high plank, hands closer together, feet out wide, pulling the weight to my hip. As many as you got. You can do these from the knees as well. Make sure the hips are forward and not back by your heels. So that's another modification. And then 
fallouts fails, you can always do just a bent over row, alternating, instead of going down to the ground. So that's your modification for those. Next part, a little less taxing, just hitting some shoulders. We're gonna start with some arm up press. So those dumbbells are gonna be right in front of your face, touching, we're gonna open up, twist out at the top. Try not to let those elbows drop into your chest. Try to keep those dumbbells in front of your face the whole time. Palms facing you at the bottom, palms facing out at the top. And then the lateral raise, standing straight up. And I'm thinking about pulling my elbows up to my shoulder height. So I'm not thinking about pulling with my hands or my wrist, I'm kind of leading with my elbows. And I'm finishing just in front of the shoulders. I'm not out here. I'm out in front just a little bit. So try to keep those off the hip too. So you're not touching the legs a few inches off the whole time. Last part. Make sure you have room to step out. We're gonna take a wide step and back together. Wide step, back together. So that's the plank of the step out. You can also do that on a couch for assistance. Same thing. That's one modification. And then the pigeon crunches. We'll go back to the high plank position. Knee to the elbow, or as high as you can get it. If you can't get it all the way, that's okay. You can also plank kind of from the ground, from your knees, I mean. We can also go back to the couch for these as a modification as well for the pigeon crunch. And that concludes the workout for today.